In this next objective, we're going to look at how to tell when a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. We say that a function f is increasing if there is an open interval such that as all of the x's get larger, the corresponding y values grow as well. We say that a function is decreasing over an open interval for which as the x values grow, the y values get smaller. And finally, we say that a function is constant if there's an open interval for which the y values do not change as x gets larger. Let's take a look at three different diagrams that will illustrate these three concepts. In the first diagram, we see that the function is increasing over the interval that runs from this leftmost point to this rightmost point. Because as the x values grow, meaning as we move from left to right in the graph, the corresponding y values also grow, meaning the ordered pairs keep climbing. In the second diagram, we see that the function is decreasing over this interval because if I compare what's happening between the leftmost point and the rightmost point, as the x values grow, meaning as we travel to the right, the ordered pairs fall, meaning those corresponding y coordinates are getting smaller. And finally, in the third diagram, we see a function that is exhibiting some constant behavior between the leftmost point and the rightmost point because the corresponding y coordinates for all the points in between remain the same. Let's look at the following example and write which intervals the function exhibits increasing, decreasing, or constant behavior. Note that these intervals are always going to be open intervals. So for example, we see that if the graph is going to continue here to the left, we see constant behavior for x's that travel from negative infinity up to negative 3. Where did the negative 3 come from? That's where the behavior changes. So we're going to say that the function is constant over the interval from negative infinity to negative 3 for x. Next, we see that the function exhibits increasing behavior. In this piece, the graph is climbing. We see that the x-coordinates run from negative 3 to 0 because the increasing behavior stops once we reach the y-axis. So we'll say that the function is increasing over the interval from negative 3 to 0. Then we see some constant behavior again. So it will also be constant between x equals 0, and let's see, this is x equals 3. And the last piece of the graph, we see decreasing behavior, and that looks like it's happening from x equals 3 to infinity because there's no upper bound.